in 2020 when this satellite passed over Tibet it gave jitters to Chinese army what is this satellite and why is so little known about this indian satellite hello everyone welcome to resonant news today we bring to you project kautilya a satellite named after the original spy master and strategist of ancient india kautilya on july 26 2020 it was reported that india's premier intelligence gathering satellite emisat operated by drdo had taken a good look at the positions of chinese people's liberation army in the occupied tibet the news did not go down well with india's neighbors emisat satellite carries kautilya an elend or electronics intelligence package whose capabilities are among the most highly classified and closely guarded aspects of the operation for indian military purposes in one of the very rare occurrences kautilya's movement and finding were revealed by the government to the public for the first time on july 11th 2020 emisat's elend or the project kautilya carried out a pass over near pakistan's naval base called the jinnah naval base the base has submarine facilities and was reportedly hosting chinese submarines in recent years Then on 26th of July in 2020 the satellite carried out a pass over over PLA's position in occupied Tibet near Arunachal Pradesh. So what is this project Kautilya? Emisat is country's first electronic surveillance satellite. It is a very powerful electronic intelligence surveillance satellite which has been developed in India jointly by ISRO and DRDO. Emisat was launched among 28 other satellites by PSLV C45 launch vehicle on 1st of April 2019 in sun synchronous polar orbit. Some say it was launched with 28 other satellites to avoid controversies. Emisat is a satellite built around ISRO's mini satellite 2 bus weighing about 436 kg. Emisat basically adds teeth to situational awareness of the Indian armed forces as it will provide location and information of hostile radars placed at the borders. This will be another dimension to current land and aircraft based elent. Elent can apparently also keep a track of the mobiles used in an area. During war or peace, enemy forces communicate to each other through audio and video signals. Emisat is very capable of recording, analyzing and intercepting such audio video signals. It also helps create an RF signature of a radar which can in turn be used for locating and quickly identifying the radar in subsequent encounters. This means next time Indian forces have to carry out a Balakot like strike deep inside the enemy territory, they would very well be aware of the radar positions with the help of satellite. Kautilya is maintained by DLRL or Defence Electronics Research Laboratory. This lab is working in the area of electronic warfare including electronic intelligence, communications intelligence, radar, communication jamming systems, covering the radar and communication frequency bands on various types of platforms which include vehicles, ships, submarines, helicopters, aircraft and static installations. So now it makes sense Emisat had passed over Pakistan's naval base. But then one must also know that such electronic surveillance is carried out not just in foreign countries but also within India to keep a tab on the communication of inimical elements. Apparently, American electronic surveillance spy satellites who are up hundreds of thousands of cell phone calls and rummage through the dark web for terrorist activity. Let me remind you this is just a satellite which is very capable of scurrying through the dark web. America has about 154 military satellites, Russia is known to have 71 military satellites and China has about 63. India is a late entrant into electronic surveillance, but it is fast catching up in this shark infested water with Project Kautilya.